Wednesday. It is hump day. Man, hold on a second. Guess what? I didn't pull down my mic. Huh. Happy hump day, everyone. I hope y'all are doing great. Good morning. Hey, it's almost noon somewhere, right? <laughs> it's almost noon here. Let's put it that way. How you doing today, Jay Smokes? We got dough season in the house. Good to see you, Joey Brown. Let me get this YouTube side pulled up. I think I got Cat Mom in the house. It's been a minute. Good to see you, ma'am. I hope you're doing well. So in case y'all are wondering what that thumbnail is about, hey, I was driving around the other day, riding around. I was riding around. Jimmy was driving. So we went past this place. It used to be a mall or whatnot, and they tore down where they were redoing the parking lots, and they were painting what was left of the of the walls. And I had seen it, and I'm like, hey, Jimmy, stop. Turn around back up. We got to go back and see this thing. It was just really cool to me, the murals that they had painted on there, and I'm into art and I'm into street art, and so me and Jimmy went back, we took some photos of it, and yeah, this is the thumbnail you see there, is one of the photos that I took, just pretty cool, I, I thought it was pretty cool, so you're going to see different kinds of that in Tampa, and along with other cities as well. You ate shrimp. Was it good, Cat Mom? I love shrimp. I like shrimp. That's it. Like number 11. Hit that thumbs up. Thank you, Green. Giddy up, Greenwood. How you doing? Hope you're having a good morning, young lady. So, y'all, do a few races and things with you this morning. Some auction items I'll put up. Basically, we're going to be running through some more of the things that I had picked up yesterday with Jimmy. The idea is we go through these things. I'm going to probably go back tomorrow to go pick up some different things. So, we're going to see how all that goes. Meanwhile, yeah, I've just, you know, just like y'all, there's just a million things going on. So, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for hanging out last night and for being in there and all the love and support for each other. I appreciate y'all. Hey, save here first. Good to see you, ma'am. How you doing? Quick blanket hello, everyone. Appreciate you, Miss Ella. Hey, y'all, don't miss out. She got Picky Nikki on with her, I believe, today. And I know today she's going to be on the Hump Day auctions of Mr. Johnny. I think Thursday is Picky Nikki again. And then Friday is Victoria. And I don't know what she's doing Saturday, but I'm sure she's doing something. So. <laughs> If you all are not hooked up to her, Greenwood, I appreciate you. And uh, I know I just acknowledged your email last night because it's just been a long few days. And I, I don't know. I think that was at like 3.30 in the morning. So, uh, yeah. But I do, I do appreciate you. And I'm, I'm all right. I'm doing good. I hope you're feeling sick. Oh, no. Greenwood, that's because you, you're in New York and not in a good way. Yeah, get the heck out of there. No, I don't know. Thank you, Miss Ella, for coming in. Thank you, Cat Mom. I appreciate you. Thank you all so much, Jay Smokes. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. All right, y'all, hit that thumbs up. Share us out if you can because a lot of people probably aren't used to seeing me this time of day yet. And, well, yeah, y'all might get used to even seeing me earlier in this if I get myself taught not to stay up till 5 in the morning. 
I got sucked in last night. I laid there and started watching freaking long, long, long. Yeah, anyways, I started watching Western. And next thing you know, I'm like three hours into it. Thank you, Greenwood. I appreciate you, Jody. And yeah, you got to make sure you're doing okay. Mr. Wolf, how you doing? Good to see you. I know why I'm missing half the daggum comments. I was in top chat. Hey, y'all, make sure that you go ahead and make sure you're in live chat. Because my silly butt, even the channel owner, was in top chat. I was missing half y'all's chat. Conversations weren't making much sense to me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see here. What we got? What do y'all want to do first? You want to do auction? Want to do races? How about if I go ahead and open up these goodies that I put away last night to try to see what we got in the bag? Ha ha! Joey Brown in the building. Good to see you, Joey. Gregory Freeman. Good to see you, Gregory. And my question is, how unorganized do I got to be to be in, like, literally what consists of maybe two rooms? I guess there's a kitchen and then the rest of the place. I don't know. But anyways, I lose track of everything. Pens, papers. <laughs> I need a whistle on this stuff so I can be like, hey, I need the notepad and the pen. Instead of one of them life alerts for when you fall down, I need like a pen alert. Where's my pen down? Where's my pen? You know, to be able to push a button and it beeps wherever it's at. Beep, beep. I'm over here. Okay, I think I'm good. Got a pen. It is right. It's good to see you uh, Okay, so check this out, y'all. Let's do this. Let me find some shinies to put up here for you. Actually, oh, I don't see uh, Oso, though. Oso probably ain't awake yet. Oso, I'm going to wait and put up that other koala and give you a chance to uh, bend it out. Being the last night, you weren't, you weren't having much luck. And then I feel bad because you got in late and, well... Anyways, I'm going to wait and put that up tonight so that you get a shot at it. Okay, Oso. Oh, there's Oso. Oso says, here. Coconut. Hey, what's up, Coconut? How you doing? So, hey, I appreciate you. And thank you for following through and sending the picture of the coin. And you know what inspires me anytime I see a younger person, which from your videos and things, I'm thinking you're a young man. And if not, if you're the mother of the young man, I'm just wanting to say kudos on you. Keep on doing what you're doing on YouTube. Keep on growing. And, yeah, it's amazing. So, yes, I've seen the email. No, I haven't got to verify exactly what they are yet. But as soon as I do, I will definitely let you know. I've starred and marked your email. Of what I got to do now is go in and with those photos enhance them and then I can look through some things and then I will give you an exact on that coin and that is very cool thank you very much I appreciate you hey it's the young people that are our future y'all see we get young stackers young coin collectors that are looking for educations on things I love it Shelby and how you doing welcome in Shelby and I hope you're doing well you're quite welcome, Coconut. And and we will get to the bottom of that coin, and I will let you know what it is as soon as I find out. All right, y'all. Let's see here. What the world did I do? i tell you what. There's like a vortex here. I set something down. I turn around. Can't find it. And then I can find it the next time I turn around. Good 
Good to see you, Shell Bean. I hope you're doing well. We've missed you. All right, y'all. We're going to do some one, one ounce options here. So here's what the first thing I'm going to do is going to be is I'm going to put these up for auction, give you all an option on grabbing one of these. One ounce, three nines, fine. Starting bid. What does that say is fine? $28. So this is going to be a winner's choice, y'all. I'm going to let y'all take your pick. We're going to have the flowing hair replica. One ounce, three nines, fine. Going to have the... Accuse Indian three nines fine. Or we have got the Second Amendment. Three nines fine. Also got that one there in a copper, which Actually, I mean, I don't have on hand with me, but I do have it in a copper. So if someone wants to pick this one up, and I believe this one, and possibly this one also. I believe I may have all three of these in a copper one ounce. So whoever picks one up, if you decide that you might want to add the one ounce copper to your stack and collection, then we could probably work out something on that really easy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Thank you, Shell Bean. I've changed my sticker and looking for a good colorist. Nice. The Irish Collector. How you doing, Irish Collector? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. All right, y'all. I'm going to put the descriptions already in there, y'all. We got a starting bid of $28 we're looking for. Do I have a wallet still, Jeff? Dove, you do. Everybody that had a wallet, as of this week that has a wallet, you all still have a wallet. I mean, it's Wednesday morning. I know, and normally Wednesday morning, I'm working on packages, and I'm trying to get you all stuff together. But I am on the road right now, so you all got to bear with me a little bit. And what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to do your shipping on Friday instead. Because that makes it easier on me trying to figure out how to run back and forth. And to be honest with you, I got ready to do the pirate ship thing. And this ignorant printer I got thing ain't working. So I'm going to have to use Jimmy's printer, which doesn't do labels. So I'm going to have to print you all stuff out on paper and then tape it to the packages. So you're going to have to give me like an extra day. Or you're going to have to hope that I figure out this Amazon Prime thing. And I get a daggum a thermal printer delivered to my place. So... Yeah, that's my hopes. That's what's slowing me down right now. I didn't, don't have a thermal printer with me currently to be able to print out your labels to ship you all out. So I'm working on it. <laughs> what is spot this morning? Spot price is $25 or I mean $26 and some change. Or at least it was. Depends on where you look. Yeah, 26.82 silver spot today. Depends on where you're going to look to. Each one of them sites is going to tell you a little bit different, y'all. This is the young man version of coconut. I'm not in school because my county got hit with a tornado. Oh my goodness. Sorry to hear that, coconut. Prayers for you and your family, my friend. We're glad you're okay. So, yes, so what that means is even if the LCS is around here, if that's what spot price is right now, I would be paying $3 over that at least. That is, if I spend a minimum of $500. At least that's what I got worked out yesterday. And, yeah. So, there's where I'm at. So, I literally offered it up to you all at less than what I can get it for right now. 
You're quite welcome, Coconut. Shell Bean says, Dread does most, Dreadpool does most of his work. Dreadpool does really good work, too, Gregory. Now, Gregory, and uh, I'm telling you, I, I know some other folks do really good work, but you just got to get with them. There's a lady that does it for the resale community that does amazing things. Another good person that does them is, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of his name right now? He's really the one that, he, he started Dreadpool. Um, oh, my gosh. But he's got a channel, too. I can't think of his name right now, and I don't know why, y'all. Hmm. In at a starting bit of 28. I know, Dove. I was waiting to see if anybody else was going to get in on it before you stole it. All right. Here we go. A race. Uh, this guy's name has, like, cars or racing or something to do with it. Oh, I can't think of his name, Doe Season. But he does sticker designs and things, too. But between him and Dread, and then Dreadpool did my first real sticker design. So he did a good job. He always does. Yeah, Flatline Racer. Thank you very much, Jerry Parker. Yeah, great guy, Flatline Racer. He does excellent work, y'all. He does videos, shorts. He can make videos, starting videos for you, counting videos. So can Dreadpool. And, but I mean, yeah, Flatline Racer is the one that kind of got Dreadpool started into it. And yeah, I watched it kind of grow from there. So there's some, some good people to check out when it comes to making the stickers and doing stuff like that. Boom, flatline racer. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Parker. Appreciate you. Just need the downsized and colorized. Okay. So, Gregory, um, Dolls Dolly can help you with that, my friend. If you were to email Dolls Dolly what you just described me, she'll break it down into a pixel thing for you to where it'll fit. And she can help you with that other, too. She's really smart about that kind of thing, and it's pretty simple. I just don't know how to do it for you. But if you already have most of it, all, all you got to do is just have it, the pixels on it, rechanged. Yep. Shell Bean says, and Dredd could use the money. He is disabled. Well, now, and here's the thing. I would never even say that about Dredd because he's abled enough to be able to do what he does and i think that it keeps him going so i do i do say that yeah i definitely support dreadpool just because you know he's a good guy and he does great things i'm, I'm never gonna say anybody should support someone just because of their disability because i feel like dreadpool is kind of like me right some people might see me as a guy that has a leg that's been shot twice. So I have a lot of problems with it from the knee down all the time. But I don't consider myself disabled. You know what I mean? So I don't know that I would say that. I think that Dred's a good guy and he does good work. And his dad does help him out with some things on it. And his dad's a pretty good guy. So, yeah. I think. Yeah, you guys should support everyone. And, yeah. You know, he's very capable, just poor. Don't feel bad, Shelby. And I think we're all getting poor by the day here in the United States, so it's all good. I'm not in a hurry at all. Take some, yeah, just get a hold of uh, Dreadpool. His email will be on his about page for his channel. And if you send him an email, same thing with Flatline Racer. If you go to Flatline Racer's channel, his email will be on his about page and you can check him out. And I cannot for the life of me right now think of the young lady's name that does the resale community. And she is doing really awesome work, y'all. She makes some really cool videos, really cool designs. But I just, right now I'm having a brain fart.
Okay, let me see here. So I'm not I'm not hurrying. Okay. So yep. Hey dough season. I'm working on an N2 video for me. Very cool Irish collector. And yeah, he does. He makes really cool videos too. I don't know that I think actually, hold on a second. Let's see something, y'all. Don't worry, Dove. I got you with the high bid, buddy. You know me. I got squirreled. Now I'm talking about Dreadpool. I feel like I need to go in here and look. I believe I still have my very first counter video that Dreadpool is the one made for me. Somewhere in this booger. Come on now. Where you at? Where is this at? Ah. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to play some of these videos, and then I'll let you know if it's the one that Dreadpool made or not. We got Dove Season at $28. Here, we're going to try this. I think this is one of the new starting the show videos. I think maybe he made this one. I can't see the dates on when they were made, but I know some of these older ones he definitely helped make. So let me check it out and see what we can get going on. Okay, that wasn't it. Snipers, get ready. Okay, that wasn't it either. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's it either. That's it. Okay, I can't find them in my old listings. Somewhere in here. Here it is, right here. I found it. And the sold is going up. So that was my first counter video. And Dreadpool is the one that made that for me. So yeah, there you go. Still got it in my lineup. Appreciate you, Dreadpool. There you go. And I believe this might have been... I don't know if he made this sniper. No, that was that was the countdown video he'd made. That one right there. Okay. So check it out. And I was like his... Second, I think maybe design he'd ever help make, and at that point, that's what he was doing, right? Like me and him had drawings. I was looking at things, and we'd go back and forth with the ideas. So I think he's got a little better at that now. You just tell him the idea; he's gonna come at you with a lot of drawings and different designs he's came up with. So may I have all three? He said, "Beans, I can't decide." Oh my goodness. Hey, Dove. Dove, how about this? I love you to death, buddy. You pick two of them for me? How about if I let you get two of them at 28? Does that work?
Minuteman and Bust Lady. He, he said he wants the. This is the flowing hair, actually, Dove. Cat Bust is always facing the other direction. Flowing hair will always be facing that way. So the flowing hair one, that's okay. Hey, Miss Jessica, how you doing? Good to see you, ma'am. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and thank you for pimping me out. And get on that corner and get you some uh, candy made. Yep, oh, she has hair. Yep, that's the flowing hair. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Thank you for being back, Miss Greenwood. How you doing, Jody? Jessica, how you feeling today, ma'am? A little bit better? Every day you'll feel a little bit better. Miss Jessica's had to give up chocolate, and it was a primary source of her fun and diet. <laughs> and kind of like giving up coffee or caffeine or, you know, anything like that. Giving up chocolate can be a challenge sometimes. So just know we got you. We got you, Miss Jessica. I posted something on my community tab if you want to see it. You know I do. I always check out your stuff on y'all's channel. Hey, Papa C, how you doing? Okay, y'all. Let me get some um, constitutional out here real quick. That one right there was Dove Season. Got those two. Thank you, Dove. Oh, yep. By the way, y'all, but I asked y'all this before, so I know none of you know. But if anyone can look up and find any pallet warehouse places in Tampa Bay, please do send me a message and let me know. Because, yeah, I, I would. And the kind of pallets I'm talking about is the kind of pallets like Miss Ellis sells in her auction. Because I really want to try to help her figure out how to get a pallet to her or something from here because yeah I just I don't know but if anybody has any idea let me know because I've got oh, a few places and yeah the one place that I went and looked at all their stuff was like heaters and some more stuff it was like they were even pretty open about it it was winter time crap so I just need yeah need a place that has like you know what I'm looking for so please do help me out if you can I'd appreciate it Cat Vic, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Let me see here. What we can get going for you guys. I, I just mentioned that because my phone's gone off because I've been trying to talk to these different places today and uh, it's nerve-wracking sometimes trying to make sense of these folks. I'm like, no, I don't. I now know what Ella's talking about, and I've been going through this, watching her do it for months. And God bless her. I just don't. If they're real and they exist, then I should be able to come look at them, right? And I'm in Tampa, so it ain't nothing but a thing for me to be able to go to the place and look. And then when they're like, well, you know, we... no, I don't know. Do you not have a damn building? Can I not come look at the pallets? That don't even make no sense. If you're in Tampa and I'm in Tampa, then why can't I come see your warehouse or come? And probably the reason why is because most of them are frauds and they take advantage of people. And it's all good. It's a process. So, anyway, I could sure use some ideas. So some of y'all are probably a lot more computer savvy than me. So if you find something on the interweb, let me know. All right, let's do this, y'all. Boom. Last night. We had the gold-plated Morgan. Now today, let's do... Y'all want to do a barber half dollar? Or do y'all want to do a Morgan? And you know when I say that, I ain't going to throw up no, you know, 1921. <laughs> so let me know. Atlanta is too far. 
Hey, Shelby, if you know a place in Atlanta that some pallets, and and for real, you can shoot me their info, then let me know. No, I'm in Tampa, but I'm going to need this shit to go to West Palm Beach. But if if you know where one's at there, sometimes they'll ship, even if it's halfway across the U.S. It might cost a few hundred bucks, but if they make it worth the price of the pallet, and if the pallets are right, then it's worth it. On my way out the door, litty kitty, lady, please. Hey, everybody, hit that thumbs up on Dove Season Super Chat. I appreciate you, Dove Season. God bless you. Hopefully, I see you later on today and for sure probably tonight, too. I'm, I might not go twice today and then tonight, but for sure I'm going to go again tonight because, well, yeah. If I'm going to run around here trying to figure out where things are at while I'm out searching for pallets and everything else i'm actually i'm gonna be searching for silver and gold too so i'm gonna keep on bringing you all the deals that i get hopefully we'll pick up something we'll, i won't go pick up anything today because i got other stuff today i gotta deal with and i, I gotta like get settled in here like i'm still not even got my shit unpacked for real i mean okay so at any rate I will be back up later on today. I'm not ending right now either by no means. I just want to, yeah, one of you all know that I'll be back up later on tonight. And probably I'll have somebody with me because I know I'm kind of boring by myself, right? And I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me see if I can't find the right video for Dove Season. Dove Season, I appreciate you. Thank you for that super chat. Y'all, Thursday we will do the super chat will for last month and don't forget to get on that thing every five dollars worth of super chat you do you're on it here we go dove this one's for you buddy <laughs> Shelby, and you said resell rabbit goes to Atlanta. I probably know who you're talking about. I don't... Hold on. Let me write down that name. Are they on YouTube or are they just on whatnot? I think I've seen them on whatnot before. Resell rabbit. Rabbit. Thank you, Shelby, and I'll look them up and see what I can't find out from them. I appreciate you. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to have sticky pad, tablet pad stuck all over this place, too. A housekeeper come up in here and be like, what the hell? He has got sticky notes on everything. I'm going to have to tell him, look, you can't touch the sticky notes. They all mean something. <laughs> Chilling and grilling, how you doing? Good to see you. I appreciate you. My day is complete now. Can only get better thanks to Friday dove season. Hey, dove season. She'll look even better come tonight. <laughs> Good to see you. Chilling and grilling. I hope you're doing well. Or there you go. So, constitutional. So, let's decide. Are we going to do the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couple different years here. Okay. Both 1800s. Okay. All right, y'all. 1891, New Orleans, Morgan Silver Dollar. Got a little dark tone up there in that corner right there, but that's not 
any kind of damage other than it's just got a really dark tone there. Probably was in a book or in a flip somewhere on that side getting a lot of light. Bam. There we go. Hey, Oso. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Hit the thumbs up on Oso Super Chat. Thank you, Oso. I appreciate you. Hey, Oso. You want the Batman or the other one? How about this? We'll do this one here for you, Oso. I appreciate you. Think of keep your shirt on. No. Think of keep your shirt on. No. Think of keep your shirt on. No. Think of think of think of think of think of think of keep your shirt on. No. Think of keep your shirt on. No. Think of think of think of think of think of keep your shirt on. <laughs> I appreciate you, Oso. There you go. All right, y'all. Eighteen ninety one, New Orleans, New Orleans, Morgan Silver Dollar starting bid thirty. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thank you, Oso, oh a member for three months on the silver tier. I appreciate you. Thank you all so much. Thank you to all your members. Thank you to every one of y'all for just being in here and hanging out. Got the 1891 New Orleans Morgan Silver Dollar. Jeff, last comment. Hey, that's for the poll. Laugh out. <laughs> it is. The only way, but Jessica. My leg's really been hurting me the last couple of days. I've been doing a lot of walking. So, you're going to have to help me out. <laughs> I feel like I need some CBD oil to rub on my freaking hip or something. <laughs> I'd have a hard time with that pole right now. I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you get me on a pole right now, you might want to go ahead and have the paramedics on standby for when I slide down that deal. It ain't going to be good. And besides that, Miss Jessica, there's Gentleman's Club all up and down this road out here that I'm staying off of. So I, I'd be in tough competition. <laughs> they call them Gentleman's Club. So, I mean, I, I call them what you want. But between that and the massage places around here, I would be in tough competition. I don't think I'd make much money on a pole. I think I'd get ran out of business. I use some gummies and a brownie, and y'all be feeling better. Hey, actually, Greenwood, I, I I ate about a quarter of a rope this morning just before I had an omelet for breakfast. <laughs> so I had gummies and then an omelet. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Miss Jessica, I would, I'm telling you, I, I have tough, I have tough, tough competition around here. If I was trying to uh, pimp myself out, <laughs> I'd be in trouble. All right, y'all. Any opening bids? We're looking for an opening bid of thirty dollars on the eighteen ninety one New Orleans Morgan. Thank you, Gregory. 
Jeff, do you have a Taco Bell app? No, ma'am. I call Uber Eats. They'll bring it to me. I don't, I don't put food apps on my phone. I got too much stuff going on on my phone to have all them food apps. Happy had them gummies kickstart munchies. Kickstarted the munchies. There you go, Greenwood. Got Melinda. Fun. Oh, Melinda, how are you doing, ma'am? Everybody, please hit that thumbs up. I want to see 11 thumbs up on that lady's super chat. She's absolutely amazing. Truly, such a support for Miss Ella. And I appreciate you for coming in and giving me some love and showing support. I appreciate you so much, ma'am. And I miss seeing you more often. That's going to get you on that super chat, Will, for the month of. March twice for every five dollars y'all doing super chats you get on that will twice I mean get on that will once so you did that you're gonna get on there twice for that go around I appreciate you ma'am and this one is for you Thank you so much, Melinda. I appreciate you. Big hugs. And Miss Jessica, thank you. Now I see what you were saying. Miss Jessica was telling me, hey, Jeff, get the Taco Bell app. You get a free taco. Now, see, that'd be all right if I ate Taco Bell a lot, but I'm not a Taco Bell person a whole lot. Although I probably, I did think about it yesterday. Instead, I ended up at, um, yeah, Duckin' Donuts. Bud Chronicles, how you doing? Good to see you. I appreciate you, Miss Jessica. The thought that counts, right? Today, last comment. Hey, there you go. Well, I'm going to blow it up. That way everybody can see it. Hey, if y'all have the... Oh, shoot. I'm not trying to time her out. Hold your breath, Miss Jessica. I don't think I timed you out. If I did, I'm sorry. Hold on. I push buttons. There we go. Let me find you in the comments, Miss Jessica. Okay. Y'all check this out. Boom. If y'all got the Taco Bell app, Miss Jessica just gave y'all the 411. Today is free taco day. Today is a burrito day. See? Today's a burrito day. You got to get in there. Much, much love, Bud Chronicles. I appreciate you, my friend. Boom. Bud Chronicles. Worst tragedy of... No, I guess there's worse tragedies, but... So, my oil vape yesterday... Decides that it was too hot here in Florida where I had it sitting at in the console vehicle I was in most of the day. This thing done came out the, the blowhole, out the exhaust thing. I mean, just all my, it done ran stuff everywhere. It was a mess. I'm a little disappointed in it. Other than that, it worked once I cleaned it up, but it was just like, holy crap, half of it done ran out of it. It was nuts. Melinda, I do appreciate you so much, and I do appreciate you and all the support and love you give Miss Ella, all y'all. So, yeah. Regardless of anything else, I, yeah, you guys mean a lot to me. So, I appreciate y'all. I came in at the right time. There you go. Got your dance on, Banana Girl. What? what? So, yeah. Y'all get down there and talk about And remember to tell them that Miss Jessica Dumpster Girl told you about it. Oh, shoot, no, Jeff. 
Yeah, it seeped out quick too, Bud Chronicle. We're talking like within 30 minutes. I'd hit it and put it in there and then was somewhere else. Got ready to grab it out to hit it again. And yeah, I would grab it and my whole daggum hand sticky. It done ran all down. <laughs> what is wrong with this thing? <laughs> First one I ever had do that is like self erupted on itself. I've had them run out the end where the battery charger goes in. I ain't never had one just go out the blowhole. It's crazy. Some of you are listening to this conversation and don't know what we're talking about, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes danger. That's right. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, it's bad. That's what I thought. I thought, what if it had been in my pocket? Daggum thing might explode or something. All right, y'all. You must have the app for the reward to do it, Jeff. All right, y'all. So Miss Jessica says you have to have the app to do it. So if you got room on your phone and you're okay with having extra cookies, then download the app. Miss Jessica, I appreciate you telling me about it, but I'll be honest with you, I ain't going to upload the Taco Bell app. <laughs> Because all them things come with cookies and widgets and all this other crap that I don't want floating around my phone. But it is a really cool idea if you that that's what you do. As for me, I didn't figure out how to use Uber, Uber Eats. So I just yeah get on there, type in some stuff, order my stuff. Wait for them to message me or call me and tell me they're here. And I'm good. Talk about going. <laughs> Sticky situations. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Drum note. <laughs> Drum note. That's right. All right, y'all. Nobody is needing the New Orleans Morgan. I can't believe it. At 30 bucks, no one's bite. Okay. Well, we're going to call the pass in five, four, three, two, one. And that one is a pass. So no one needs the Morgan right now. It's okay. See, I thought if I got some better years, that surely somebody was going to be needing one of those. There we go. We got the Scottsdale. Miss Jessica, have a great day. Stay safe. And maybe I'll see you later on today somewhere. And yeah, we'll be live later on today too. Four star, 11 stars. There you guys go. Got the Scottsdale. Boy, and she's mirrored pretty. She's got pretty finished her. Hi. <laughs> got MJ Squirrel on one. Thank you, MJ. Jeff, I found a few liquidators. Thank you, Shell Bean. Shell Bean, if you could send me an email with their information, that'd be great. I appreciate you. You know how when you really, I don't know how to describe it, y'all, but when you really care about someone and you really want to try to help them do well and you want to see them succeed no matter what. And, yeah, even though things don't work out sometimes, you still really want them to do well. And I really want that from Miss Ella. So I really do, I appreciate y'all trying to help me find these pallets so that I can help her get going again. Because it really does mean a lot to me. Because she does mean a lot to me, regardless of everything else. So, once again, if any of you all know where I can help find a pilot when I'm here in Tampa, please do. And thank you, Shelby, and for helping me find it. Help me try to find some places. I appreciate it. 
and she'll appreciate it too. I guarantee you. All right, y'all. Here we go. Got the Scottsdale one ounce, three nines fine silver. Pretty shiny, shiny. I know nothing about coins. That's why I give you super chats and show support. Oh, Melinda, I appreciate you, ma'am. That means so much to me. And this is one of the name brand companies. You would call it name brand, right? When it comes to minton companies, is Scottsdale. They make some of the higher quality things. But what this is, is not a coin. This is a silver round. Which, yes, most coins are round, but the difference between a silver round and a coin is this right here. You notice on the front, there is no numismatic value, and on the back, there's no numismatic value. Now, on a coin, however, there will be a dollar amount. And there will be a country that it was made by, and most of the time, a president or someone's face on one side or the other. I'm going to dig into my sold things here. I'm going to take out a piece that I sold last night so I can show you what I'm talking about. So, this right here is also an ounce of silver that is round. But you see right here, it has a date. And some silver rounds have dates. That one there says 2023. Now, when I flip it over on the back side, it is made in Samoa. So it will tell you the country or the sovereign nation that it is made in and its denomination. It has to have a dollar amount. This one is a $2 coin from Samoa. So this one is actually a coin. Just a little, for people that don't know, the only silly question is the one that's not asked. And sometimes people just got to take a little time to show you things, right? So there you go. And it doesn't have to be the U.S. It just has to be any sovereign country, right? So that's the difference between just a silver round and a coin. So there you go, Miss Melinda. There's your first little tidbit. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we go. Got something for you in here. This one is going to be a 1915. Is this the one that's New Orleans, too? Nope. San Francisco. All right, y'all. 1915. San Francisco, Barber Half Dollar. It's okay, MJ Squirrel. You go on to work. I appreciate you, ma'am. I'm not going to stay up here very long in this go around, anyways. I just want to come up for a little bit, show you all some stuff, get some stuff done. And actually just talk tunes because, well, I was just kind of lonely. So, and I know that, right? It's like you go from having somebody around you all the time to just being by yourself again. It's, yeah, anyways. So, anywho, I'm just glad y'all are in here. So, I appreciate y'all. 1915. You are paid. Thank you, Oso. Hey, Oso, I did say back one of them koalas, so if you wanted to pan it, you could. I mean, if you wanted to bend it, you could. So, yeah. I appreciate you, Oso. I appreciate every one of y'all. Y'all are amazing. So, here you go. Here's what we got to do. 2015, Barber Half Dollar, San Francisco.
I'm trying to look to see what I got on my spreadsheet here, what I get for these things. All right. Nineteen fifteen S Barber half dollar starting bid seventeen dollars. Starting bid seventeen dollars, y'all. And that's literally like my price to y'all. Like I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this to just get rid of these at the price I gave for them, trying to give them back to you all that way so that I can go back to this man in another day tomorrow and spend the same amount again, flip it again, spend the same amount again. By the time I've done that three times, me and him are going to work out a price difference. He's going to want to start doing business with me on a different level and I'm going to be able to get you all better deals. It's just kind of how it works. So in the process, I got to keep these things flipping. And especially when I'm on the road because I did the math and I got to do so much, so much a day. I've got to figure out how to get rid of between here, whatnot. And I've got another local source that's, yeah. So I'm going to try to figure all that out. Meanwhile, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are awesome. Yeah, the koala. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Did I say kangaroo? Yeah, it's koala. The one tenths. Because what I had done also was they had a stack of them and I bought all of them. So, how you get a better deal? They had a set price and I was like, okay, the set price changes if I buy every one of them. <laughs> so, I think I ended up with six or seven of them yesterday. Oh, we we hadn't discussed the price, oh, so, but 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. I will definitely email you also. I appreciate you. I could probably even just put it up after a while, but I'll I'll sh Okay, so also without further ado, here's what I'll do for you. If you want to bin it, if you bin it right now, I'll I'll bin it to you for twenty one dollars. B I N twenty one. Let me know. Cause the rest of them I'm gonna get rid of for twenty five or more. Because honestly, that's what I should have probably been doing from the beginning. But I'm giving you all my price. So let me know if you want it at 21. I got you. She says, been 21. Got you. So congratulations. That one is yours. Thank you very much. Nice pickup. In case y'all are wondering what she just picked up, I will show you. Boom. The pretty shiny koala. Right. There you go. Congratulations, though. So that one right there is yours. That Pacific one is going into your wallet. Thank you very much. And thank you for being patient with me last night and not being upset because I couldn't get you in that race. I apologize. I still feel bad. You know what I mean? And I still feel bad for Mike a little bit. I'm just, yeah. You know, you guys, hopefully you know. and He knows. So, I got you, Oso. Thank you. I feel bad when I can't give everybody what they want. I'm truly a person that tries to, like, do. I, I want to make everybody happy. I'm like a people pleaser in some sense so 
Uh, I've been really bad here lately. It feel, I feel like I'm not making anybody happy. So, <laughs> I am sorry, Osa, that I couldn't get you in there last night. And I am sorry, Mike, that, yeah, just uh, life, right? Meanwhile, hey, y'all, check out my pillows. <laughs> Hey, at least I've tried to get it set up today. Now, check this out. Someone told me about this, and this is a pretty handy idea. This is like a thing that your laptop sits on or you set whatever on on your lap that's got like sandbag thing underneath it. So that was a pretty quick pickup, and it made it to where it sits flat to where I can... You guys don't have to see everything at an angle. So see, I'm getting more equipped to being on the road. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so I appreciate you. All right. Yes. Yeah, so it's going on one o'clock. I don't even know. Do we have anybody else even live right now? I'll tell you what, we're going to stay up here for a minute longer and I'll show you all this. I think maybe do y'all want to run gold now or do you want to run gold tonight? How about if we run gold tonight? Y'all want to do gold tonight? Check it out. Find the right stand for this thing. Oh my gosh, you know what? I realized today, and yeah. Uh, huh. So, Ella, guess what? You have a coffee maker on your kitchen counter, and you don't even drink coffee. Meanwhile, I go to make coffee this morning. I was like, it's a good thing there's a coffee maker in this still. I ain't got no coffee maker with me, but I got all my coffee, Miss Tracy Cakes. So, I got you. I just, uh, yeah. I thought it's a good thing this thing's got a coffee maker in it it's got a single cup coffee maker them things are kind of aggravating but <laughs> i would rather make five cups and just be done with it <laughs> miss ella don't even drink coffee that's the funny part y'all Starting bid 17. Yes, you're correct. Anyways, there's the money melts one gram. So that I'll put up tonight because it looks like the barber might be what y'all are looking at still. Gregory's got it in there, so I'm going to put it back up here. <laughs> what? No. All right, yeah. Uh, Nineteen fifteen, San Francisco barber half dollar starting bid seventeen dollars. Cannot believe we don't have more numismatic people in here. Sometimes, I love I love the older coins, and there is something about the barber design that I really like, but. Mainly in the dime. Barber Dimes is my. That's like my coin to collect, right? That's my favorite coin. So, yeah. Barber Dime. <sighs> Dustin Hilton. Donna Hilton. How are you doing? She's been in the hospital for over a week now. It may not make it out. Oh, my gosh. Dustin. Oh, my God. Okay, Dustin. Here, I'm going to drop my email. Please send me an email. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. So, Dustin, that is my email. My name's Jeff. If you would please just send me an email so I have some way to be able to touch base with some of Miss Donna's family, I sure do appreciate it. Meanwhile, y'all, let's let's do that. Let's say a prayer for Miss Donna Hilton. For those of you that might not know who she is because you're kind of new to the community, she has been a member of the community for years, and she is just an amazing lady, always supporting people, always been a blessing. She would always get a hold of me about prayers and things, so... Okay, here's what we're going to do now. I want everybody to just take a moment. Don't type anything in chat. Please don't 
say anything. Just if you don't believe in God and you don't want to pray with me, then that's fine. Just give give some respect when I do, please. So, dear Father, we come to you and we just lift Miss Donna up in your mighty hands, and we ask that you be with her son and the rest of the family. And we know that everything is in your time and it's in your will. So we just ask and pray that you just give her comfort and ease, that you guide these doctors, that they can give her the best treatments for what's needed, and that you just give her a sense of peace and a sense of knowing that you're there with her and just just touch all of them. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Oh my goodness. Miss Donna, God bless you. And thank you, Dustin, for coming in and let me know. Please do send me an email. I'm going to turn you blue, my friend. And that way, if you come back in, you don't accidentally get timed out or anything. And you can also leave an email if you need to in the chat. Thank you so much for letting us all know. Y'all, please do keep that lady in your prayers. Keep Enforcer and the different ones. And Miss Cherie, I haven't seen Miss Sherry. Not Sherry, but Miss Cherie. I haven't seen Miss Cherie in a minute. So we know she went back into the hospital. So y'all, please just keep the different ones in your prayers and your thoughts. And I'm definitely going to keep all of you all in my prayers and thoughts. And I appreciate the prayers that's been going out for me as well. And I do believe this. Through God, everything is possible. Because y'all are sitting here listening to me now. And if it wasn't for God, that wouldn't be happening. Not just now in life, but everything in life. So just keep leaning on him and have faith. Even the size of a mustard seed, as Miss Southern Bell says. That's all you need. All right, y'all. I think that's, yeah, I think that's one of the hardest things that I've had to come across on YouTube is I get really attached to y'all. And then when y'all... Yeah, Miss Donna has prayed me through some things, so... Y'all, we're just going to keep praying for her. All right. I appreciate y'all. We're going to run this down. I'm going to count this down in five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to call that a pass. All right, y'all. Let me see. We've been up here an hour. But I'm going to try to run through some more stuff here and see what else we can put up that y'all might be interested in. So like I said, I really got to try to get these things going. I got to try to get some other things going. I'm definitely I'm going to go on a pilot search today. I promise. I'm going to, I mean, I promise. I'm going to try to find you something. I don't know what. I'm going to make myself crazy trying, but I'm going to keep trying. So we're going to. Yeah, do this. Let me see. Y'all want to run another one? Want to run another race? Because, I mean, I've still got these one ounces. We could run another race on some of them. I do have some more Barbers and some more Morgans, but I don't think y'all are in the mood for that this morning. don't seem like. But we definitely got some different one ounce rounds and things that we can run. And if need be, I do still have other things with me, too. But one of the things that I want to try to get some stars on is the C.C. Morgan. New England Cajun Roots is going live, which means Miss Ellen then will be over there auctioning here in a few minutes. So... Let me see here. I really wanted to us uh, try to get some more stars on this done this morning, if you guys would like. 
Well, now it's this afternoon, but either way. Do -do 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 -do. Trying to get this thing. Huh? Come on, sucker. Sucker fish, why ain't you working? <laughs> okay, so I then squished everything sideways. It's the cable on this camera don't like me, y'all. <laughs> 1979 CC. Gregory Freeman, we're going to do $2 a star. I know that there's over 100 left, so we'll just put that in there to start with. And we'll keep track of these. And then we'll go back in. 1879 CC. Strong CC. 1879 Strong CC, $2 a star, $2 a star, 100 open. Oh, $2 a star. Son of a... <laughs> I'm telling you, all I want to break this other device. Anytime I'm trying to get shit done, this is what happens. Oh, so go ahead. God bless you. But we went over this last night. <laughs> Y'all put it in before the description. Even though I know I'm saying it and I'm goofing it up, you got to wait for it to get written in the chat. I appreciate you. Got you. Got Oso on three of them. Y'all just think as soon as we get this filled up, one of y'all are going home with a nice coin that just, yeah, wow. Hold your horses. I fixed it. I got you, Oso. There are no marks on the cheek. Well, I'm sure there is if you scoped it. There's probably... <laughs> <laughs> Something else. Pick on me. <laughs> I know, Papa C. We got Lance Parker on too. Thank you, Lance. Two for Lance. <laughs> we'll do oh so it's um did I send you did I send you Oso's email? I think I did. Papa, I think I did send you Oso's email. Check and see. Cool, we'll do when I get off of work. Okay. Yeah, I think I sent him your your email info. Katita, that way he had it. All right, y'all. Two dollars a star. If you all don't know, if if you have a red book, open up your red book. That was the wrong button. So in the red book, when you look it up, you're going to want to look up strong CC. You're going to notice that it does not even have a mintage of how many of them was mintage. But that's what this is. And a professional grader even verified that that is what this is. This is the strong CC. It is not a doubled CC. So, yeah, very, very sought after coin is what that is right there that y'all are looking at 
use the last one, Papa Girl. I believe so. I want confirmation of total. Just want a confirmation of total. Oso, I appreciate you. Oso is really good, y'all, keeping track of their stuff. They've always been honest with me, and I appreciate you, Oso. All right, y'all, $2 a star. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, I appreciate you. Oh, so I appreciate every one of y'all. That's why I'm always proud to say, hey, I know y'all and I trust you. So until you give me a reason not to, I'm going to continue to do that. You know what? I don't think you ever will. So I appreciate you. All right, y'all. Two dollars a star. Anybody else? telling you this thing's eventually going to spark up and take off i'm going to end up putting up the next post is going to be like announcing it we're gonna get some people in here i'm gonna do a short on it we're gonna figure this out we're gonna get this thing in someone else's hands because i got another cc that might like to get in someone else's hands too you know just saying you never know As long as creeks don't run dry, that's right. That's why everybody asks how I'm doing. And I, I think that's just something I got from my grandparents as well. I'll, I'm doing well and I'm above ground and not below water. And yeah, someone asks if I'm going to be there on time, I'm like, I'll be there. If God's willing, the creeks don't rise. That's it. <laughs> So you just pick up those kind of things, right? I picked it up from my grandparents. And... Mine's too. She said, there you go. All right, y'all. You're amazing. You're going to get a chance at the next 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to put it on hold until later on today. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a short, and I'm going to do some other things, and we're going to take some more stars that way on this, and y'all let some people know, see if we can't get some people to fill up this Morgan race so we can get it done. Because I got some other cool stuff that I'd like to put up for y'all. I don't Nobody wants to see the same thing all the time, right? No. <laughs> and I'm going to be tickled to see who wins it. And I'm hoping maybe Kit will get in here and get some more spots. Because Kit always gets all my killer Morgans. So he could add that to the collection of the rest of them. I feel like I'm, I'm living vicariously through his Morgan collection that I'm helping him get. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, I do. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Hey, do me a favor. I believe he's going by. Oh, hold on. I can actually get the link. Let me um, let me kick out of the chat. I'll be right back, y'all. Let me try to do something. Mm. Update auctions. Let's see. Let me, let me get over here. I'm going to get a link for you guys. And I really, truly want you to go over here and do a raid on these folks. And let them know that Crumpler sent you. Because they're just getting started. And I really don't want to run over them. I might... Like I said, do some shorts, pop up a thing maybe a little bit later, but I appreciate y'all so much. And I'm going to do a giveaway too, but first I want y'all to do this. If you want to get in the giveaway, 
I need you to go over here and do a raid on Mr. Johnny's channel. I want you to go over there and tell him hi, hit the thumbs up. He has sometimes a time limit on his show, so make sure you subscribe. But yeah, go over there and show them some support and love. I'm going to be watching the chat. I'm going to be watching the thumbs up. Go over there and get that, and then come back over here, and we're going to do a giveaway. Y'all tell them it's a crumpler raid, and I'm going to go over there and check it out. I appreciate y'all. So hit that link. Go over there. Just give them some love real quick. And, yeah, like I said, Miss Ella's over there. They're about to be auctioning. And, yeah, let me see if I can get back over there real quick. It's called the Hump Day Auction. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for going over there. I appreciate y'all. I see Oso. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. I appreciate y'all. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Miss Ella's not over there today. I thought she was going to be. Oops. Okay. Well, Miss Ella's not over there, but y'all still go over there and show them some love and hit the thumbs up. Mr. Johnny's pretty cool. All right. Let me see if I can find us again. Huh. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a giveaway for all you awesome folks. Thank you all so much for doing that. I appreciate you. Let me see if I can't get this giveaway tool pulled up. <clears throat> We're going to give away some. I know it's Thursday. She usually does hump day auction with Mr. Johnny, and she called it off for last month, but she was going to start again this month. But anyways, things change, I guess. Something must have come up. But I'm sure she'll be back on hump day auctions pretty soon, and it's on Wednesdays. Oh, thanks, Silver. How you doing? All right, y'all. Yeah, get that. Um, um, blah. Let me see here. Hashtag. All right. I got you all hashtag. Yeah, usually she's like the co-host on Hump Day Auctions for Mr. Johnny. But then last month, because her inventory was not where it should be, she... Canceled the hump day auctions of being the co-host on it, but she was going to start back this month. So I don't know. Just keep praying y'all that she'll find some pallets and a place that'll be able to get her some inventory. It's really what she needs. So you know what? I don't think that's the right stream. You guys hold on a second. This giveaway tool ain't picking nothing up. And I think the reason why is because you're not, maybe, you no, know, somebody got it in there. Let 
This is the only stream that's in here. It's got to be this one. Yeah. There you go. I don't know why it's not picking them up. We got one entry. Are you all serious? Okay. Well, I'm about to run this still. Y'all are going to be sad. I hope somebody got that hashtag in there. Good to see you, Silent Silver. Today is Wednesday, not Thursday. I know I'm missing that. That's why I said it's hump day auction. It definitely is hump day auction on Mr. Johnny's, but L is not up there. All right, y'all, I'm going to run this in five, four, three, two, one. Meanwhile, whoever hits this is going to get a free star on one of my races tonight or today, whenever it is I go live next. And Miss Annette, congratulations. That's you, ma'am. So, Miss Annette, you got a free star coming on any one of my races tonight or today. I appreciate you all. I'm going to pop up a short with this CC. Remember, it's $2 a star. We still got around about 100 stars open. I want to see this CC in someone's hands. I don't want to keep running it for y'all. I want one of you all to have it. So let's get this thing in one of y'all's possession. Meanwhile, I love and appreciate y'all. For fact, God loves you more than I ever could. And he loves y'all eternally. So he's going to be there for you regardless. Meanwhile, keep each other in your prayers. Please keep Miss Donna Hilton in your prayers and Miss Sue and different ones that are going through different stuff. And I appreciate y'all. And I will see you later on today. I'm going to pop up a short with this on it. You'll be able to leave a comment and get spots on it as well that way. And yeah, we're going to have some more fun later on today. And for sure tonight, we'll have an auction and some more things. I appreciate y'all, and I look forward to seeing you then. And until I do, I want y'all to remember to keep your heads up, your feet down. Keep reaching for them stars. Keep on stacking that silver, y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>